Hello and welcome to my channel. So um, today I just decided to do a spontaneous comparison between these two machines. Um, this is the Mila S7, or actually it's the Mila Dynamic U1 Twist Powerline. There is the um, swivel neck, it's the Power Plus Automatic. Um, height adjustment. They all say Power Plus Automatic Height Adjustment. They all say Dynamic U1. They all say Powerline, but depending on the model that you buy, um, it'll say Twist, Salsa, Jazz, Cat and Dog. Um, the Twist, I just occupied, or acquired, not occupied, um, like two weeks ago. I went up to the Auric Home Care Center. I've been wanting one of these um, S sevens is I always call it the S seven because it was for the longest time. Um, I've wanted one for a very, very, very long time, longer than any other machine that I currently own, but I knew that they were out of my price range, um, that I was willing to spend, but I ended up buying that Maytag M1200, which was twice the price of this machine. And I ended up returning that. So with that money I saved, or got back, I was able to buy this and then another machine or just not be irresponsible at all and just buy something worth my while, but vacuums are worth my while. Um, then I also have the SIBO Automatic X4. This machine I probably had for about two months or so, since before Halloween, it's currently New Year's Day. Um, so I've had it for a while. Um... I didn't buy it new, but I bought it from an estate sale, and the machine was hardly used. Um, I mean, you can see it's very nice glossy blue. It does have some dust buildup on it because it's been sitting in my bedroom for so long. Um, the Dynamic U1 story is they have the new Mila Maverick. It's black. I liked the color. I really wanted a salsa, but the price difference between the Maverick on Amazon was $319. The salsa at the store was like $460. So, I mean, you're saving a good chunk of change. $130? I mean, come on. That's um, a car payment. That's a bill. That's, that's a big price difference. And for the headlight, I mean, the SIBO doesn't have a headlight. My Dysons don't have headlights. Um the uh, Samsung canister that I have doesn't have a headlight. A lot of my machines don't have headlights. Even though I do like the model with the headlight, I didn't buy that one. I went to the store, asked if he had it. I knew that he would probably do a price match for me because um, those places are told to sell things and they can promotional or they can promo whatever they want even though Mila's do have a set price Seabro's do have a set price that's why even with iPads you don't go off and expect to find an iPad cheaper here than there um unless it's an exclusive model but um when I got there I showed I told him you know I can get the Mila Maverick and he said well that's the same thing as the um the twist they're discontinuing the twist and I said okay well I can get it for 319 he's like no you can't and I said yes I can he said where is it and I said Amazon so we went on and he saw that that and the C2 canister were both and he's like oh yeah the C2 is also on sale and he's just like well you know what you're already here he said I can do uh, I can price match the twist for you. And I said, well, how much is an open box floor model salsa? As long as it hasn't been beat up or anything. I mean, it's been used in a store. They do some tests and stuff, but it hasn't been in somebody's household. It hasn't been bumped up against furniture or anything like that. I wanted to see if the price difference was worth. Um, and he said, no, the, the vacuum hasn't even been turned on yet. He said the only thing that he could do was throw in a sec or an extra set of bags. I was like, no way. Nope. Um, they just recently redesigned these, not with the dynamic name, but within the last couple months to a year, they actually came out with these new power switches. The top switch looks very similar, but the bottom switch used to flip forward and it was circular. Um, this now just tilts to the side with the button, of course, at the top. You still have your traditional dial switch. Um, the bag is... Not very full at all. I've only used this thing maybe four times since I've had it brand new out of the box.
in a, the boxes in my bedroom. I do have an unboxing of it and a first use, I believe. I just haven't done a video upload yet because I'm always on the go. I'm not always home all the time. And when I am, my phone's not completely charged or I'm using it. So um, I don't want my battery to drain if I go to bed not realizing um, YouTube was uploading. So I just end up not uploading anything. The SIBO I've had for a while. I believe I had videos on my last phone, but I just got a new phone. So um, I may end up just doing a completely separate video. And if I decide, I'll go back on and check the old video out again and see. Um, the SIBO has a different design. Um, you can see the bag's a little bit more dirty. And I have a new filter in it. It is not a genuine SIBO filter. And the bag is quite dirty. This thing does pick up a decent amount of dirt, even though for some reason in my eyes, I don't feel like it does. It actually does. Okay, so both have a quick draw wand. They're both very similar machines. They're both German. That's the reason why SIBO and Mila are two big competitors. They are both the only two German-made machines that you can buy here in the U.S. as far as I'm aware. There may be some other ones, but nothing as popular as the Mila and the SIBO. Um, SIBOs are used in a White House. The Milas are not, but the Milas tend to be more streamlined and sleek, whereas the SIBO just tends to be, you know, your Chrysler K car of vacuums. Um, the uh, handle release is this weird little metal thing you press down. It does lie completely fat or fat, flat as well as the Mila, but there's less of a motor bump with the SIBO. You have an on-off power switch located up here. And the Mila. Um, but the SIBO does not have an automatic, or it doesn't have a brush roll shutoff. It has an automatic height adjuster that automatically levels itself out. There's your down, your up, your check brush roll, and your full bag indicator. Your Mila has just a, I forget what they call this, like some sort of a piston style um, pressure sort of red gauge thingy. And you have an indicator light for your power on and your carpet. And you have all these suction settings. I have it on the highest setting right now. Um, the SIBO is definitely easier to maintain. You can completely pretty much tune up the machine and completely wash it out yourself. This button pops the end cap off of the brush roll and you can take the whole brush out, clean it if you want, and put a new one back in if you'd like instead of putting the old one back in. You can get a new brush roll for like $30 on Amazon. Um, it also has a lifetime belt. The, C or the Mila has a lifetime belt. The warranty is better on the Mila than the SIBO, but I've heard complaints about the Mila's causing more issues over time than the SIBO's do because these ones tend to have more computers than this one, I guess, even though it's got the automatic height adjuster, but I've heard more issues with the Mila's than the SIBO's. They both have a top-mounted cord um, output, I guess you want to call it. Like I said, they both have a quick-draw wand. The hoses are practically the same design. Um, the Mila's is longer. The SIBO is neat because when you want to just use the hose, there's a little button oops, that is pushed in when you have the wand in place, right here in the front. So when you push this down into the machine, oops, I don't have it in correctly. Oh my lord. Like that, it pushes in this little button so the hose can be released. And the hose, when the vacuum's on, it just goes right in, like super quick. Um, when you remove that, the hose can't be pulled out of the wand like that. So that's a cool little feature. It is missing the dusting brush on the front. They both have a lower cord release, which is nice because you can take off as much as you need. Neither one has to be completely, re completely to remove to be able to use the hose. The nice part is, though, when you use just the hose, not the wand, you can use the handle, whereas this, you do not have that, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, you have your crevice tool, your upholstery tool, um, and believe it or not, they both pretty much weigh the same. The SIBO is no lighter. It might actually be a little heavier than the, the Amila. It's a hefty, hefty machine, and it's probably because of the 
the leveler or the height adjuster and whatnot. Um, now, the SIBO, to me, I don't feel that it does a better job than the Mila because I feel that the uh, Mila has more suction. But quite honestly, when you're vacuuming the carpet, they kind of feel like they both do the same amount of work. They're both top fill design bags. Um, I have like 13 bags in my room for the SIBO. I got them generic. I don't really care. This thing didn't come with a warranty from the state auction. Not like I could use it anyway because I wasn't the original owner. So I don't care about genuine parts. I do not have a active... Uh, this is just an active air clean. Or no, maybe it's just an air clean filter. I don't have the HEPA filter in this machine yet. And I'm going to be getting one. But I just haven't been back up to the store. Um... The SIBO can, can be completely taken apart. The Mila, the wand just slides in and it locks in. I don't know if there's a release or anything like that, but I don't have any intention on getting rid of it anytime soon. So we will start with the SIBO. I'm sorry that I'm rushing, but I, I've been told, oh, you talk too much in your videos. Well, you know what? I like to explain things. There's a story behind everything that I buy because I never purchase anything for full price. I just don't. Unless I really, really want it, and I don't even know the last time that, that ever happened. Um, so I always have a story behind everything that I do, and sell, and buy, and I'd like to talk about them. That's why I make these videos. So um, I'll start with the SIBO first. There's some bare floor up there, there's a nice line, and then there's some loose debris up here. <laughs> That vacuum kind of growls a little bit when you shut it off, but it's not very loud. Um, it did kick a little bit back on the bare floor, and but it did pick up everything in the line perfectly. But for some reason with the loose stuff, it didn't do a very good job. I had to run back over it. Um, and one quick thing, if I forget, because I'm thinking of it right now, the salesman told me at the store, when you have this Mila S7, any model, or the Dynamic U1, doesn't have to be the twist because they all have the swivel neck, you should always tilt the vacuum to the side all the way, push it all the way up into the upright position, then lock it in sideways. It doesn't matter if you do it from the left or the right. He said that it saves on the mechanism because of the way that it's designed. When you recline the machine back, those back wheels pop up into the machine. So he said to tilt the vacuum all the way to the side, push it up, and then um, slide it over because there's two locking mechanisms. One's to keep the machine upright and the other one is to keep the machine from not swiveling one side to the other. Um, and quite honestly, the carry handle on the uh, Mila is a lot nicer, but you do get one in the front for stairs on um, the SIBO, but it's the door handle or the bag door. I don't know as if that would be very beneficial. He didn't say you had to do that, though, when you're reclining the machine, and I don't know how you would be able to because I tried it the one time, but the swivel doesn't release correctly, so... That got everything, and I know I went a little slow, so I'll go over here faster, and it got everything up. I just want to show you the agitation. Oh, it left a little bit, but I went kind of fast. So, I gotta wrap this video up. The SIBO did a great job. The Mila did about the same, I'd say. 